So it's a perfect situation to borrow the money from the energy efficiency loan fund at the chamber and pay it back in a, in a short term. A perfect situation that Traverse City Area Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Doug Luciani says will ultimately benefit area businesses and the entire economy. The plan started a few years back. In 2008, the Traverse City Area Chamber convened a, an energy task force to look at what the chamber's role should be in, in terms of energy and to, to get some consensus on what some of the major energy issues were for the region. That task force included everyone from chamber members to environmental groups, energy experts, and even the general public. One of their missions was to improve energy conservation. That's where the Energy Efficiency Fund comes into play. The chamber has done an extensive strategic planning process and one of the chamber's seven strategic goals is to significantly change the region's economy. So the energy um, efficiency loan fund really does both. It allows us to be a change agent on energy uh, conservation and it also allows us to help businesses address their bottom line and significantly change the region's economy. The Energy Efficiency Fund was officially launched last week, and the first business to take advantage of it is Grand Traverse Industries in Traverse City, which provides everything from plastic bag manufacturing to custodial services. GTI just bought a new building, uh, and so they spent a lot of money buying the new building. They had an energy audit done of the new building and saw that they could make a substantial improvement in terms of energy efficiency on the building and save about $15,000 a year on energy um, savings. But cash flowing it right now is a little bit of an issue because they just spent all their money buying the building. Luciani says the overall process for the energy loan is rather simple and the chamber encourages businesses to apply. Anybody that's interested, uh, we would love to talk to them about a loan of up to $10,000 for a term of up to three years at an interest rate of between three and five percent depending on what types of energy efficiencies they've identified. Typically a program like this would be lots of hoops to go through and lots of approvals. We've, the Chamber has really tried to make this as simple as possible because the Chamber is using its own money. This isn't grant funds that we're accountable to some other source for. The Chamber is using its own money to fund this, $50,000 to seed the program and then hopefully raising money once we demonstrate the success of the program.